we look for cool stuff all the time uh, to bring on our shows, and we stumble upon David Manners, who's a, uh, you have a, what do you call him? The podcast. A podcast, You're a yes. podcaster. Yes, indeed. Uh, the Bearded Breed podcast. Bearded Breed? Bearded Breed, yes. Okay. All, you know. Um, I guess it's a nerd culture podcast. Okay. It's really things I like. It just happens to fall in that category. You Perfect. Know I mean? <laughs> so we cover things like Dungeons and Dragons oh. and comic books. Let's first get it out of the way. How do people get to the podcast? Uh, you can get there on the Anchor app or Spotify, Google Podcasts. Okay. There are several ways. Most well, places you find a podcast, you can find me. Okay. So, so go to whatever platform you use and type Bearded Breed. The Bearded Breed Podcast. The Bearded Breed Podcast. Yes. Well, tell us what you'll talk about on these podcasts. Well, most recently, I started covering Norse mythology. Uh -huh. So this past episode, we did um, Odin mm -hmm. and how he's very – nowadays, there's a misconception on how he actually was or actually. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of people into that right now. Yeah. Now, once your podcast is over, is it over, or can people go listen to the past episodes? You can listen to all the episodes at okay. any time. They're all yeah. on there. Yeah. So, uh, Norse, myth Norse mythology, what else? D Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons, yes, uh, I touch on that. Uh, I did an interview with an independent wrestler mm. out from Maine, and that was cool. He had stories with legends like yeah. uh, Tony Atlas and Sid Vicious and things like that. Wow. So, I think overall, that's what I would like to do, because there's a scene... Um, Lucha Extreme yeah, here sure. in Fresno yeah. and uh, there's a big independent wrestling scene just in our area that is, is wildly overlooked. We used to have Lucha Extreme on our shows all the time and I think they're still doing it, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, They might have stopped for COVID for a little while but it's pretty active and yeah. popular too. Um, so uh, you have had guests, you're going to try to have more guests on the, yes, on the podcast. So. Yeah, there's going to be a few people that want to get... Um, my buddy James, I think he'll be on your show on the 20th, I oh. think. He runs the Monsters Layer podcast. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, he and I want to get together and do a couple of cross-brand type mm -hmm. things. So we're going to work on that and see what we could put together. Okay. Now, uh, you're into a couple other things. Beards, maybe. Beards, yes. Yeah. The beard you have a good-looking beard. beard. Thank you. Some people I have try. scraggly beards, but some people they kind of look almost polished and very smooth and very yeah, neat. Well, and there's a have. secret to that. Is that what it is? Yes. I, by the way, I just had a beard. I called it my COVID beard for about three months. It was pretty, but, but like I said, it didn't look like, nice like this. Oh, well, I, I guess you didn't have the beard struggle product. Beard struggle product. Yes. <laughs> the beard struggle. It's a, it's a Viking brand product. It's mm. all uh, Viking culture themed and Norse mythology and nice. stuff like that. And it's, it's really good, right? And it's now, called what now? The Beard Struggle. The Beard Struggle. Yes. Because if you have a beard, you struggle with it. Exactly. You're always trying to get it go to the yes. right place, huh? Now, please don't wash your beard with uh, shampoos and conditioners you have in your shower, right? Like Tresemme. Mm -hmm. Different follicles. Completely different follicles. Uh, chemicals in those shampoos are going to burn this baby out. Well, right? I was washing my beard and conditioning it every day. Yeah. That's the wrong thing to do. So I challenge people all the time to wash their beard with like regular shampoos for like a week mm -hmm. and then buy the product and then do that for a week properly and you're going to tell the difference. Do you wash with that product? Yes, there's a wash, but you're only supposed to wash once a week with it. Once a week, okay. Once a week. And then and, and that gives it the look you're not putting on like gel or... Uh, uh, can, uh, something on it? No, there's oils you put on there. There's a day oil and a night oil. The night oil is mainly just to keep in the moisture. Will you talk about this on your podcast? Yes, I talk <laughs> there about that. There you go. Yes. If you want to find out about these beard pro beard struggle, the beard struggle. The beard struggle. Norse, Norse themes. Um, go to that podcast and, and uh, look up David. Now, what about the coffee? Something the coffee, coffee, geek grind coffee. Geek grind, okay. Yes. Uh, I guess it's D&D &D themed, mm. but really just fantasy, really. Yeah. Um, it's all whole bean Colombian coffee. Mm. Now, I don't like to recommend stuff that I never tried. Okay. Right? I'll tell you that I'm selling it, but I won't recommend it. Okay. But I just tried it with my mom just the other day, and it is very smooth. There's no bite to it. Yeah. There's no kickback, nothing like that. Mm. Like, I normally take my coffee with two packs of sugar and a uh -huh. little bit of cream. Not this. A pack you're of sugar, good. and I'm good. You're good. Wow. Right? Because it's good. It's delicious, yeah. I tell you, sometimes I walk in a place and I smell the coffee. I say, that smells so good. Yeah. My coffee that I make doesn't smell that good. So <laughs> geek, geek what now? Geek grind coffee. And do you have to grind it? 
Yes, it's whole beans. It comes so in whole beans. So you have to yeah. have some kind of grinder. I would, I've never done that. How do you grind it? Like crank grinder or That's what I grinder? thought. I went to the store with my wife, and I was like, I'm looking for this. And no, it's a little machine. You push a button, and it yeah. grinds it all up for you. Then it's really fresh then. <laughs> yes. Like fresh that day. Yeah. Now, where do you get this uh, Geek? You grind. go to geekgrindcoffee.com. Okay. And you can actually put in my code to get a percentage off, nice. which is a D A V I M two zero. Okay. And if you're going for the the beard struggle, I have a code for that as well. Okay. And that is Bearded Breed eighty nine. Bearded Breed eighty nine. Yes. Punch in those codes and get uh, at least he'll get credit for it. He's telling you about it. He can get a little credit for it. <laughs> Geekgrind.com. Now, what date is your podcast live? I know you can go back and listen to them, but is it mm. live or is there a day that it debuts that? I try to do it every Thursday. Thursday, okay. I, I do fall off schedule sometimes. Yeah. Right? I have three kids, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I try to do it every Thursday, and I always try to I try to keep it as interactive as possible. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still learning the ins and outs of it. Yeah. Like I said, my buddy James, he's really knowledgeable about podcasts. I'm kind of getting into it, and I'm just swimming along there. And what do you mean interactive? Well, I try to go let them go on Instagram. Uh -huh. Find my Instagram at Bearded Breed eighty nine. And uh, let them give me tips or ideas of what they would like to hear yeah. about, and or comment, or, or comment, or say you're wrong about this thing. Or exactly, that's Norse Norse guy or that Norse guy. Exactly. Or whatever, yeah. And uh, um, they do that throughout the week, or they do it while you're live. Throughout the week. Throughout yes. the week. Yeah. Now tell us the Instagram again. I didn't get that. The Instagram is at Bearded Breed eighty nine. At Bearded Breed eighty nine. Find them. Maybe that's where we found you. I don't know. I think one of our Bookers found you on Instagram, or I don't know where they found you, but here you are yeah. at Central Valley Talk. Yeah, yeah. We send out messages all the time inviting people to come on. If you have something cool going on in Fresno, the Valley, Merced, Modesto, Porterville, Visalia, we want to get you here. Now, are you looking for a Fresno audience or a worldwide audience? Well, I like to build a local audience first and then grow out as yeah. much as possible. But from anybody there. from anywhere in the world could tune into this, right? Yeah, I have people listening in the UK and in yeah. Greece. and Who knows why, right? Yeah. We do that for ours. <laughs> I look at our list of who's watching people from other countries and other states, and it's just really a, a mystery to me how they even find it. But we're on the World Wide Web, so you know, yeah. we're a little easier to stumble onto. All that onto. for a reason. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Bearded Breed Podcast. Yes. The Beard product is called? The Beard Struggle. And then the coffee is? Geek Grind Coffee. Okay. Anything else you want our viewers to know? Um, well, if I'm right here, might as well. I'd like to get the wrestlers from Lucha Extreme onto my podcast. Very good. I would love for that to happen. If you guys are listening, anybody from Lucha Extreme, get a hold of David. Now, uh, just because we have about two minutes left, tell us about this Odom and the... Odin. Misconceptions or... Okay, so... First is Odin, not Odom. It's Odin, yes. Right. <laughs> now, everyone thinks of him as a, this honorable warrior type mm -hmm. king god guy. Really, he was the wanderer. Mm -hmm. And he didn't really care for honor. He's all about gaining more and more knowledge. Mm -hmm. So he would do things, sketchy things to gain that knowledge. Mm -hmm. There was a point, there was a... Saxo something, some historian from the 13th century, he wrote that uh, Odin was exiled from Asgard for about 10 years because they didn't want his vile uh, perception, I guess, from the humans mm -hmm. to look bad on the other gods and mm. stuff. Giving so the other gods a bad name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he was kind of sketchy. Yeah. He was kind of ske sketchy, but... Um, yeah, so next week I'm looking for Freya. Uh, I don't know much about her. That's why I want to touch on that goddess. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it turns out as well as the Odin one did. I had a lot of fun looking up Odin. Nice, nice. Well, there you go. What goes on on the uh, podcast? Just that. Just this kind of talk. Huh? This kind of talk, yeah. And now, uh, just as we're signing off, say again, well, if anybody goes to podcasts, they can find you already. The Bearded Breed yes, podcast. Yes, the Bearded Breed podcast. And if you don't know how to go to a podcast, um, I guess just go to your phone. Yeah, you can find it on Spotify. Open podcast. Here we go. Let's give this a Open shot. Open Pandora. Open Pandora. That's not the right <laughs> thing, right? No, not <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> not such a smartphone after all. All right, well, thanks for coming, Dave. Well, why don't you come every month or two, and we'll just talk about this again. I definitely and, will. Uh, mention us on your podcast, and we'll get some cross-promo going. There you go. Uh, we will be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.
What's going on, my people? It's the Bearded Breed. Oh, yeah, come on. I'll tell you what. We're back at it again right here on the Bearded Breed podcast. And today, we are touching down on some Norse mythology. Yes, North, not Greek mythology. We're not talking about Zeus and Hercules. No, we're talking Norse. We're talking Odin and Thor and Freya and Tyr and Loki and Baldr and all those cool people. Now, I'm not going to touch on all of them today. Because I figured Norse mythology is a big concept, and um, we'll go baby steps. We'll take.